Yesterday I fried a batch of paleo karage in um, avocado oil, but um, you know a lot of people always ask me, can you reuse the oil that you fry in? And you normally can as long as you kind of clarify all the stuff in there. And so I'm going to try this clarification method that I learned on Serious Eats where you add some gelatin in here, stick it in the fridge, and then when you refrigerate it, like the gelatin, um, you know, forms like a solid gel, but it collects all of the impurities and then you just take it out and then your oil is normally okay to use again. So according to Serious Eats, what you're supposed to do is for every quart of um, fry oil that you have, you use half a cup of water to one teaspoon of powdered gelatin. And I have a little bit more than um, a quart in there. I think I probably have about six cups. So I have like three quarters cup of water. And I'll probably do like a heaping teaspoon of gelatin. And then you just let the gelatin sit in your pot for a little bit to hydrate and then you're gonna boil it um, to dissolve everything and then you pour it right into the dirty oil. I brought the water and gelatin to a simmer. The gelatin's all dissolved. So I'm gonna stir it vigorously into this dirty oil, which is at room temperature. It is not hot oil, because this would be a disaster. And so you just stir it really well. And it's okay, apparently, if it looks cloudy. And I'm not... And I'm hoping this works. This is the first time I've done it because people ask me all the time how to reuse oil. Um, hopefully this works. You just kind of stir it until it's well mixed, that gelatin solution in your dirty oil. You cover it up and then you stick it in the fridge overnight. And what's supposed to happen is the oil on top you can pour off and there will be a gel of gelatin that traps all the impurities, but we'll see tomorrow morning. This morning is the big reveal to see if I clarified my avocado oil by using that Serious Eats technique. So I just took this out of the fridge. The avocado oil is a little bit cloudy, which I think is normal because it you know, was refrigerated. I'm gonna try to pour off the oil on the top and what's supposed to remain on the bottom is a big block of gel um, that contains all the gross stuff. So let's see. So I'm pouring it off into a covered um, opaque container. Yeah, it looks like it. Like at the bottom, it looks like there's a trapped um, thing, like a trapped jello thing. The oil here, even though it's um, it looks pretty clear, it's a little bit cloudy because. Um, it's been chilled in the refrigerator. People were like, are you gonna fry a big batch of food again? And the answer is no, because I don't want to keep filtering it. What I'll probably do is because this has been um, clarified, I will um, keep this in this covered opaque container and keep it in the fridge. I'll take out some every day and I'll fry with it just kind of normally. Um, but here on the bottom, let's look at, let me grab a, so it does look like there is a, a little thing of jello at the bottom. Oh, it's gross. I don't, it's not a super thick thing of jello. But here, I can pull one out. And it, yeah, it looks like it's all trapped with, um, I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh. Um, <laughs> it is, it is a thin um, thing of jello where each piece is kind of filled with crud. So I guess it works, it's pretty cool.